Hey everyone and welcome back to the Happy Heart. I am so glad that you guys came over today to get a ton of cleaning motivation. I have literally just been on the run all this weekend and I had gone shopping, gone different places, been cooking, and have obviously not cleaned up. So um, as you can tell, I even have stuff out from the grocery haul that I just shot and I will link that here in this eye. And I think it was a Costco and an Aldi haul. And I still even had to put away groceries, but none of the rooms were exempt at this point. I mean, even just trying to keep on the laundry and things like that, I still had stuff everywhere. So I just decided on this particular afternoon, I was like, I'm done with this. I'm gonna get it all done. And I said, okay, the weather was being kind of weird. It was kind of rainy, gloomy outside and I decided to start, right? Thinking everything will be fine, everything will be good. And for some reason in my bathroom, I was getting really hot trying to blow dry my hair. And let me guys, let me know you guys, are you guys um, blow dry your hair or do you let it air dry? I have always been a blow dry girl. I don't know what it is, I just think my hair looks better. I don't know if it's because I have just randomly crazy thick hair. But I always blow dry my hair and on this particular day I was getting so hot that I just decided to come out, start getting into these dishes, trying to be productive. Obviously I'm watching something, I'm guessing probably on YouTube, and you'll see that there's like a flash that comes over my screen and no joke, the, this little banner comes over my screen, you can see it right now, and it says that we were on tornado watch and to take shelter. Like not even, I knew we were on tornado watch, but literally take shelter. So in the midst of this, legit, I left my camera rolling everything, called to my son, and we sat in the closet for about 45 minutes. I know, crazy, right? So now I am back to it, and I decided to just jump right back in and get this done because not even a tornado is going to keep me away. And... Um, it makes sense now that my bathroom was really hot because the weather was going up and down outside, which um, I don't know about you guys, but it does affect my temperatures kind of inside sometimes when the weather does that. So you'll see later on that I do end up blowing drying my hair and it looks a little bit different. But I really just felt like I had to get stuff done whether or not it was going to go the way I wanted. And so on this particular day, I had no makeup on and waiting for my hair to dry, but I was going to be productive no matter what, no matter what was going to be thrown at me, tornado watch and all. So um, as you can tell, I end up uh, just trying to get as much done as I can. And some days that's all you can get done. So that's okay. On this particular day, I was pretty happy. Um, getting some things done and you'll see I ended up getting the kitchen done and I couldn't even tell you what happened y'all I I'm just guessing life I I don't even know um, but I couldn't get to the rest and I got the kitchen done got the dishes cleaned and that was all I could do so this is kind of a continuation a little bit of a cleaning marathon so I think that's all right and um, so this is kind of like two days in one, but I wanted to give you guys just the realistic, real life tornado watch happened, had to stop cleaning, um, didn't get as much done as I thought, but that's okay. So I feel like no matter what you get done, definitely be proud of it because on this particular day, I could have just gave up. I could have thrown in the towel. But try to just get as much done as you can, and you'll be surprised at everything you can get done. I even ended up peeling some clementines for my guys. And if you've been around for a while, you know I've been doing this. It helps me actually use up my fruit. And I have really noticed that if I process my fruit, like peel or chop things or already wash things, that I, we do end up getting to it. And as you could tell, mess of a mess of a mess look at that oven oh my gosh but y'all this stuff if you have not tried it it doesn't um hurt anything like it doesn't scratch my glass surfaces or anything like that but it is the best cleaner oh my gosh when you have things that are a little bit more stuck on 
it's a really, really good cleaner. Um, it's the Mrs. Meyers Baking Soda Cleaner. And I think it's just the fact that it's that creamy texture, but oh my gosh, it works so good. So um, in this video, I will try to be quiet because you guys know I talk a bunch. I want to tell you all the stories. Uh, but I would try to be quiet, let you enjoy the motivation and the music. You'll see us actually get ready for Easter and all the fun that comes along with that as well. And I hope that this gives you some much needed motivation.
this was the part of my house that I was literally dreading and I, I was so overwhelmed by the whole experience just because I just felt like there was tons of like toys everywhere. I don't know how it is to have more than one child because I only have one, but some days I just feel like everything in the house that's all over my living room is his and I'm sure that all moms feel this way. But yeah, so on this particular day, I asked my husband, can you just help me? Because I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. And of course, like he's the nicest ever. And um, he really doesn't see, uh, he always helps regardless. And he's famous for saying like, I live here too. Like, of course, you know. And so we just kind of got everything back to normal. And then I actually had him end up vacuuming and my vacuum kept acting really funny on this particular night you'll see a couple different clips where like he has to help me with it or um, just random things and honestly tell me if you guys are like this I am NOT the most careful of vacuumers I have no idea why I really honestly just kind of go over and I vacuum and I don't look over I don't know about what I'm vacuuming. I just feel like the vacuum will take it all up. It will be good. Even if they're big chunks, like it'll be fine. Like you see me vacuum my kitchen all the time. Well, on this particular day, you'll see that I had a little bit more in my vacuum than I anticipated. And so it has kind of taught me to be a little bit more of a carefuler vacuumer, I guess. Um, to be honest, I don't really know if I will change my vacuuming style. But tell me, are you guys um, like careful vacuumers or are you just kind of like hurry up, let's get it done like I am and then you kind of take care of the problem later? I honestly feel like, yeah, see all that in that vacuum? That was because of me. So <laughs> um, I think there's kind of like two people in the world about this vacuuming and I wanted to mention these wipes that I'm dusting with. I use them in my dining room and in my living room and they are amazing. I get them from the dollar store and when I'm really not into like dusting or I just don't want to deal with it or I know I want to know that it's clean but I don't want to like deal with it, um, these are the best. I usually do use Norwex cloths and I like them too. On this particular day I just happen to be washing them all and getting trying to get caught back up on laundry which I'm sure you guys have been there as well so um, these are what I use when I don't have those and oh my gosh they are amazing they're so easy and you can do like almost any surface with them and they're great because they're a dollar so this part of the video I really wanted to leave in for more nostalgic purposes than anything else um, I wanted to show you guys about the Easter Bunny and how the Easter Bunny came to our house this year. Uh, these were the eggs that we actually dyed and I wrote kind of all these like fun little things on them. I never thought about like marking them up like with markers and I thought they actually turned out really good. I don't know why. Um, I love Easter though. Oh my gosh, I love Easter. I feel like it is the best day of the whole year. I love Easter service. I look forward to it all year long just um, to kind of get out of that winter funk too. And um, just you know that spring is coming or it's sprung. And honestly, that is just kind of like uplifting for me basically. And so I look forward to this every single year. Um, this year, the Easter Bunny actually hid all the eggs inside the house um, in all of the common rooms. And he did this because, as you could tell, we were on Tornado Watch yesterday. And so everything was really, really wet outside still because um, it rained pretty much that whole night. And so the Easter Bunny was very smart this year and he put all of the hard boiled eggs, the eggs we had died, in the living room so that us as parents would not freak out if we lost an egg. We had a general idea about where it was because let me tell you that has happened with one of our um, outdoor <laughs> Easter egg hunts. Um, the Easter Bunny had to think very, very hard and it was very interesting. So um, I really uh, just wanted to put in some of the footage of us, you know, hiding the eggs and being silly and um, you could see some of my Easter decor and these are some things that my mom had sent me 
So I was super thankful for that and I loved the way it turned out. I love that little tree. I always hang different ornaments on it for Easter. But as you can tell, the Easter Bunny put eggs almost everywhere in the house. And even um, these funny little places in the kitchen that I wasn't sure about. And it's so funny when you get down to those uh, last few eggs, the Easter Bunny is kind of like, where do I need to hide these? And it always works out, but I felt like he had some really good places this year. So as you can tell, it was just really funny. So, um, and I thought this was probably the funniest. And actually I had a picture of that on my Instagram that you guys thought was hilarious. So if you're not following me over on Instagram, I'll put my handle up on the screen. It's um, the happy heart 06. And I usually post there about every day about kind of like what's going on in our lives. Uh, usually something about homeschool, something about what I'm doing, what I'm shooting. And yeah, so on this particular night, um, the Easter Bunny had just come and the eggs were everywhere, as you can tell, but that's okay. And I just wanted to kind of put that in there and remind us that um, any tradition is a good tradition in my book. And this tradition is the best and um, the Easter Bunny was obviously all set and ready to go for the morning at this point. So this is legit my favorite part of the whole video y'all. This is where everything just melds together and it just hits it for me because you can see this was a complete disaster. And then you get this. I mean it's so nice to look at something and feel like you've accomplished something and that, okay, yeah, this took me a couple of days and it was terrible and I was so overwhelmed I even had to ask for help. But look at, like, it's done, it's complete, and you feel satisfied in that. And there's nothing better than feeling productive. With Easter eggs and everything around, um, I think that's the key in life. Whatever you can do that day to feel productive, especially as a mom. Sometimes, I mean, we're just taking care of everybody else and I feel like sometimes you would do that regardless so you don't necessarily feel like super productive. But then you look at things like how messy this was and then see things like this, it's like, wow, you know, this did take a lot of time and you did accomplish a lot. And I want you all to know out there that no matter how little or how much you do, you can always feel like you are being productive if you keep going and make some kind of progress in life. Um, so I hope this video has given you some much needed cleaning motivation and I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.